Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Node.js enthusiasts and Telegram users ready to dive into the world of the development and create your own custom Telegram bot. In this 2024 tutorial, we'll show you how to leverage the power of Node.js to build up and deploy a Telegram bot from scratch. So guys, without further talking, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific video, we are going to be based on an article, which is made by CodeCapsules.io. We are here to create and host Telegram bot with Node.js. Now, first of all guys, we are going to go straight into it, which is getting started with the bot. Before you get to use Node.js, you have to get the bot itself created. The bot itself created is not made with any language. It's made easily just by Telegram. So you simply have to head over to your Telegram and go ahead and log in into your account. After that, simply just as you search for a friend or a user or anyone, Search for this username, Botfather. Right after you search for it, you will find literally a conversation. That's just like a conversation between you and another person. This our conversation actually, guys, is between you and the father of bots in Telegram. Yep, it is the father of bots because using it, you can create your own father. Or not your own father, but you can create the actual bot. <laughs> I made a mistake, guys, there. So, <laughs> yeah, never mind. So, here, the first thing that you have to do is to go ahead to this conversation and write slot slash start and press send. Then, type slash new bot and press send. Then you have to configure your bot a little bit by giving it a name, changing the picture, giving it a username, and also giving it a description if you wanted to. So there is a lot of things that you can configure. Now we have to set up the development environment in Node.js. So your bot access token is a sensitive data and shouldn't be written in the code because anyone with access to your token can control your bot. So it's important to store it where it is safe and secure. The solution is to use environment variables to reference sensitive information in code. Create that environment file in the project root folder and add line below to which replacing your bot token with the actual access token you were issued with by the bot father. So bot token, your own bot token. After that, add the dot environment to the git ignore file on a new line so that the environment file won't be uploaded to your remote repository when you push your changes. After that, you have to install required packages. First of all, download the dot environment. Also, install the axios and telegraph packages by running commands listed below in this ter terminal. As you can see, these are the two use uh, like commands to actually install the packages. Now, start by writing and creating the bot logic. Open index.gx and the root folder and modify its content with the code below. Constant express require express, though this is the code, so I'm not going to read everything. So simply just copy it and paste it. The code snipped above instantiates express ax ios and telegraph objects which we will need to create the telegram bot notice how we use environment variables to reference our bot access token and the line constant bot equals new telegraph process environment bot token using the bot launch that last command isn't efficient from a bandwidth perspective as the bot continuously pulls the Telegram API to check if it has received any new messages. So, now we are going to get to the adding of the bot command. So, it's time to add the logic for the command which will tell you our bot how to respond to different messages. Add the code below to index.cs just above the bot.launch line. As you can see, 
here it is. The first command is startup message, which is a triggered when user send slash start. Message to the bot. The startup message contains a greeting that tells the user which other commands the bot can respond to, in this case, the slash Ethereum command. As you can see here, this is basically how it works. Bot command, it is start, so slash starts. And once this message has been sent, the bot is going to respond with this specific message, which is hello there, welcome to the code capsules telegram bots. Respond to Ethereum, please try it. So basically the bot is asking the user to write this command and basically if the user actually uses this command, the bot or the, uh, the bot is actually going to uh, to get access to the API of CoinGecko, which is basically a platform of cryptocurrencies, and check the price of Ethereum as you can see right in here. As you can see, Ethereum currency and USD. After that, it will send the price of Ethereum in the ratio of USD. This is exactly how it's gonna work. This is an example of how does it work exactly in the Telegram conversation. So they simply have sent slash stars and this is the message. Hello there, welcome to the code capsule Telegram bot. I spawn to slash Ethereum, please try it. Slash Ethereum and this is the price of Ethereum. Now pull in versus group hooks, you have to understand the basics of that as well. So Earlier on, we mentioned that the bot.launch command uses polling, which isn't the best practice when deploying any application in the production to production. Using Webex is a, is a viable alternative to polling, as it ensures our bot receives commands as they are sent by Telegram users as opposed to constantly polling or asking the Telegram API to them. Add the code below to index.js file to add Webhook to the bot and comment out the bot.launch line. Express app to use, bot webhook callback, secret path, so this is the code you can copy it. Navigate to the capsule you deployed at the start of this tutorial and copy the domain from the overview tab in the code snippet above replace your capsule URL with the domain you just copied. Now we are going to start deploying the bot. On code capsules, navigate to the configure tab of your capsule and add bot token environment variable giving it the value of your bot access token as you can see right in this picture so you are going to use node.js of course guys but with it you have to use this tool which is the code capsules uh, tool it's very very useful which is going to boost you a lot and now go ahead and start making your own bot so now we have the basics now you know the code that you have to use and the script that you are going to follow so with that being said you are good to go i hope you made your best ai guys for yourself or bot and try to make it as fantastic as possible and don't forget you can implement always chat gpt with your bots to make it much better thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial